Hello everybody, welcome one more time. My name is Alex Antenna with Mercados Interactive Partners and in this quick uh, screencast we're going to be taking a look at um, this effect of presenting product photography with um, a mirror, almost like a mirror-like table. Uh, it's very common, you can see it um, all over with perfumes and uh, sometimes watches and things of that nature that are higher end um, advertising and so I want to show the technique uh, for anybody out there that is interested in, in doing something with this mirror effect. I know that Apple has used it uh, vastly in all their advertising so it's something that you might want to, to take a look and how to do for, for your own product photography. So let's take a look. First what we're going to do is uh, fire up Photoshop and let's create a new document. So file new and then give it a random size 1024 by 768 is fine for now. And let's do that OK. And then let's go ahead and move our tools right here so that you can see it better in a smaller screen. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is just create a new layer and we're going to fill it with any color. So let's use that gray right there. And again, we're going to be able to change that color afterwards, so not to worry about what color selection you do right now. Uh, and then after that, let's go and create another layer. And on top of that, we're going to select our brush and select a higher size brush. Uh, here in the properties, let me just direct you here for a second. You're going to select a brush that has no hardness, so hardness is going to be at 0% and then a greater size. You can change the size of your brush by uh, clicking the open and close bracket. So close bracket, opening bracket is going to make it smaller, close bracket is going to make it larger. Alright, so let's just uh, select a white color and click once. All right, and that's going to give it a kind of a highlight effect. And now we're going to select the layer number two and the layer number one, and we're going to right click, and then here in the drop down menu, we're going to merge those layers so we have this combined layer. And let's go ahead and duplicate that by holding the Option key and clicking and dragging. So now we have that layer and then we have a copy of that layer. The top layer, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, transform it. So let's click Command T or you can go to the menu here to actually transform it. So um, you can go here to Edit, Transform uh, and click to Transform. Uh, the scale, but um, otherwise you can also just do Command T, and you see that you get the bounding boxes there. So let's go ahead and do this, dragging from the top, just like this, until you have a little bit more than halfway there. You know, it's almost like a quarter. Now you get this effect, almost like a table effect, right there. Um, so we have the background, that's pretty good. So now what we're going to do is place a product there and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just use an icon or a custom shape uh, to pretend that that's our product, but you can use it with anything. Uh, uh, so it would be obviously with your product. So let's go ahead and select here where it says custom shape. So you can select any shape here. Um, I am selecting uh, just any icon here. So let's take a look here. Uh, and let's do it. Um, let's do it with this car. Okay, and let's go ahead and double click here to actually get the color picker and we can give it a nice color depending on what you want to do but let's just do this 
uh, darker red and hit OK. Alright, so you can place your car more or less just just there so that you have a little bit of covering of the first background with the lower background as well. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this shape number one and again so uh, hold the option key and then click and drag the layer so that you create a, uh, a duplicate and what we're going to do is on the one on the top let's just go ahead and transform that by clicking the command T. So again you get the bounding box for this and if you right click on top of the bounding box you're gonna get a drop down menu and we're gonna click where it says flip vertically. Alright and hit enter after that and we're gonna just drag it and move it to place it right in the bottom right there. All right. Now what we're going to do is rasterize this layer. So right now it is a vector, so you can change the size and everything and it's not going to pixelate, but that's precisely what we want to do. We want to blur it. So you can't do that, at least not that easily, if this is a vector. So I could go ahead and create a smart object and then go and blur it there uh, but we're not gonna do this for this example what we're, what we're gonna do is just rasterize the layer so right click on top of the layer and then the drop down click where it says rasterize layer and so this now is a raster image and then click where it says filter blur and then Gaussian blur here in the settings you can select what amount you want to blur obviously the 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 more you blur the more the effect is going to look like it's a rougher kind of surface and the cleaner the blur is then it's going to make the surface appear more smooth all right then let's just do it like that and hit okay and then we're going to create a vector mask on top of this layer so click here where it says add layer mask I'm sorry it's a layer mask not a vector mask so add a layer mask there and then with the gradient tool we're going to create a, a gradient from white to or from transparent to black and you can see it here in the properties it, that the layer is from transparent to black so it's this second one in your presets so let's hit OK and then we're going to click and drag from the bottom to there alright and now we're going to click on the main layer and then we're going to change the opacity until we're comfortable with what it is all right and then it still it actually looks a little bit like it's floating so you have to pretend that you're going to have some sort of shadow from your product in this case the car so we're going to create a layer here and with a black color we're going to use a brush to create a little shadow there in the tires. Just like that. And again on the other one as well. Alright, we're going to reduce a little bit the opacity and we're going to bring it up a little bit and filter, blur, blur that shadow a little bit so that it's not as consistent alright and then let's go ahead and play with it a little bit you can change the opacity a bit to make it more realistic once you're done with that then you can use the eraser to make sure that you have the right edges there. And there you have it. 
So now let's say that you want to change the background, so or the color of the background. So double click on the layer here. When you get the layer style pane, then you can select uh, color overlay. Click that. Click on top of where it says color overlay and change the mode to color. And then select the color that you prefer. In this case, because the car is red, let's just do some, some red as well, something along those lines. Yeah, just like that. Hit OK. And then if you want to apply this styles also to the bottom part, instead of having to, to create all those styles, you can just go ahead and again click the Option key and drag from the Effects icon to the layer that you want to apply the same effects. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's go ahead and change all the colors um, one more time just to show you. So double click there, go to Color Overlay. Let's do it this time with something contrasting with the red. So let's do something green. Christmas. <laughs> and then let's just go ahead and copy those styles. Again, option, click and drag, and you can get the styles right there. So as you can see, it's a very, very simple, very easy technique, but uh, very effective and it's very, very well known and, and it is used uh, in advertising uh, especially advertising of products like perfumes so if you're doing that kind of style uh, that kind of style of photography of product photography then this technique might be beneficial for you I hope that this has been helpful and again if you have any questions or comments you can uh, do that in the YouTube channel or you can go to our website mercados.com m-e-r-k-a-d-o-s.com for more information uh, and uh, also if you need uh, website design services. Thank you so much, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye-bye.